Hey YouTube, this is your old boys, Seth Martial Art Fitness. Um, I want to ask you guys this. I, I really want to ask you guys this, is because um, uh, I was trying to figure. I mean, I was going over some of my old patterns the other day. You know, like my palm stays. You know, from all my old katas and stuff like that. Well, um, when, when you're training cut you kind of wonder, what are these techniques for? Well, why do we do them? Well, we do them to protect ourselves. But in a real fight, you know, you're doing cut you know, you ain't going to go down to do a little block and then a punch. Now, when you, when you fight, you're, you're going to be in a fighting stance. You're going to be in a fighting stance. You're going to turn around, do a low level block, and then you're going to punch, and then you're going to punch, and maybe, and then throw a kick. Um, that's compared to doing kata, real foot. Real footing is where you're just standing in the station in a rather fighting stance. But when it comes to, you know, doing forms, you gotta worry about footwork, you know, you know, getting like your stances and everything else. But the technique I wanna say is what I don't get in Taekwondo forms is. That it has a, I think in the WTF forms or ITF one, whichever. Um, I can't really remember. It's been so long. Um, of which system, but um, I remember doing this, doing like this block in in the form. And like in one of my ATA forms, it did a block like this. This block, I kind of had a hunch. Okay, well, this type of blocking, yeah, I know was what it does. But this one, I'm still trying to figure out what this one is for. Because in karate, they have the same thing. The karate is more like a block and a punch at the same time. And your arms up a little bit. It's kind of like, like this, but it's more lowered. But you're still blocking, but punching at the same time. Where Taekwondo, and on that block, it's more out like this. Same thing on the other side. Out more like this. Same thing with the karate. Karate way. Same thing with the karate way. It's like this. But the karate way is more, more like a lower way. Where Taekwondo is more higher than the Karate Way. But Taekwondo came from Karate anyway. So they're all the same pattern, but just taught differently. Um, but the thing of it is, the thing of it is, is that when, when you're doing this block, what I'm trying to get at in one of the pattern, two patterns of either WTF or ITF, I think ITF, is when they, when they do this block, this one, it took me a long time to realize on what it was for. But this one, still to this day, 
I have not figured out what this block is for. In one of the patterns. Uh, some people say it's for grab like catching a punch and grabbing their shirt. Then you just throw them down. That could be like a wrestling. Um, that's my only part take on it. The only thing I don't like about that block. Look. You see this area? It leaves you wide open. <laughs> and it's like, you know, I don't have a problem training in kata. You know, I don't have a problem with training in kata. I don't have a tr problem with training in traditional martial arts. You know, I train in any any style of martial. I would train in any style of martial art if it was taught to me. Um, that's just how I am. Um, but when it comes to traditional training, compared to an actual, you know, street fighting way, street fighting way is more like okay, most people anymore they get to like a kickboxing stance or 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 boxing. Or they'll probably like have their arm out like Wing Chun or something like that, like something like that. Um, or karate people have their heads out like this, and you know, in certain styles when fighting. But it's just so how people fight. Um, but when it comes to training in itself. And two different ways of fighting and conditioning, but sometimes you gotta modify it to a real life situation. You know, you know, you gotta make some modifications to be able to really use your kata for good use. Or you know, if you just use kata to work out, just to train, that's one thing. But when um, is to stay in shape, you know, that's what most people use kind of for is to stay in shape. You know, do it as a cardio workout. They don't really do it as um, training for self-defense. But this move in Taekwondo, I still have not tried to figure out what it was for. <laughs> not even tried to ask him my instructor on it. And he just told me, well, just to block two attackers at once. I'm like, how? Well, you know, you're never going to have two attackers come up to you on the street every day. You know, maybe once in a once in a, once in a great while you might. But usually there's always just one thug that always tries to pick a fight with you. So, um... Yeah, I mean, that that block there, I just don't really understand. Um, what it's for. This one in the ATA form, I think it's in the brown belt form. In that system. I don't understand this one. And I understand this in the yellow belt form. And Taekwondo. And, but... And all the other blocks in Taekwondo, but this block I have not figured out what it's for. Other than it just leaves you wide open right in here, and that's the reason why I really don't like to. I mean, I really don't like to train in katas, but when it comes to you know, get agility going and everything else, then um, basically you're just uh, um, doing a cardio when you're just doing kata. And most people say, well, they do kata to 
help protect themselves and everything else. Kata is not a main for fighting. Kata is just drills, you know, to learn to fight and everything else. But there was this YouTuber, um, I can't remember his name. It was a Kraka. I supposedly a Kraka master. I don't know. Um, he was tra trying to be a Kraka mas master. Um, he's like in his seventies or something like that, and um, he ended up saying that if you don't practice kata, you're not a martial artist. And I want to say this. In every system that you study, every system that you train in, no matter what it may be, what it might not be, or whatever, um, there's always a kata in each system of a fighting system. But look at kickboxing, for instance. First form, you know. You know, doing that takes form. Boxing takes form. Muay Thai takes form. <laughs> I'm just saying that everything in martial art is a form of kata. Because basically anything you do takes form. Anything you do takes practice. Anything you do, basically, it teaches you how to do damage to the other person, and that's how this. And uh, that's the way of combat. That's the way of training. And like I said, I made this video a little too long, but like I said, if you all can tell me what this move is for in Taekwondo or. Well, when I see it, it just leaves you wide open. There you have it. Seven on four. You know what it is. Seth Martial Art Fitness now. Please hit the like, subscribe. Train hard, train smart. Like I said, do your research. That was just a little topic of something I want to talk about. In this topic, I figured I'd do a little training to do it for you. And um, go from there. I'm going to grab some lunch. And like I said, it's just this move. I don't know what it's for. So, go up and help me on it. Um, what it's for, then let me know in the comments. Please hit like, subscribe. Put it on. Seth, Seth Martial Art Fitness, known as Seth McDonald 4. Please go to my Instagram, follow me on Instagram, Seth McDonald 4. And there you have it, you know, peace, you know, be safe, and God bless. <laughs>